Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for EMS Now. I'm here at SMT in Nuremberg and I'm joined by Claire Saunders of New Events. Claire. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Great to see you again. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping by. Um, seems like a lot to talk about. Just in the last couple of months you've had um, an event in Africa, South Africa, an event in the UK That's and right. you've got another one coming up. Let's start with South Africa. That's a, a real burgeoning market. It's kind of the key market for, for the region. How did that show go? It was okay. We had slightly less visitors than we had in 2010. It's every mm -hmm. two years. Um, but the industry there is coming out of a recession, so it's a little bit behind yeah. Europe. Um, however, we still had some really good leads. We had some good people coming through the doors. What we saw is the same sort of companies coming along. They were just sending a few less people. So right. instead of sending five or six people over from Durban, they were sending two or three. Okay. Um, but in general, the show was great. We had a very good support from exhibitors again. Okay. Um, we had a high content of um, visitors very interested in seminars, and we had a really good seminar program. Well, that seminar program is key, isn't it? I was speaking, and we'll come on to the UK event, but I was speaking to um, uh, one of the exhibitors from the event, and, and he said the, the seminar program and the, the live lines and those kind of things were absolutely key to having a successful event in a region like the UK. And yeah. I guess that's true with South Africa as well, where visitor numbers are limited. Absolutely. I think any sort of event you do now, you have to have content with it as well. You've got people who will come along, they, they kind of think they know everything, they've seen everything mm. before. Um, this It's not an arrogance, it's just, you know, mm. being in the industry for so mm. long, things don't change, the stuff gets a little bit faster mm. or whatever else. But having a seminar content, so there's a, a, another reason for them to come mm. and see a piece of equipment is, is essential. Yeah. Um, we, we run seminars alongside all of our events and we find them very, very useful. Okay, and Birmingham was the most recent one, just a couple of weeks. That's two right, yeah. Uh, two or three weeks, yeah. 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 yeah, how did that go? It was good, it was very different. We co located with another seven manufacturing shows, so we had a, a, basically a, a platform slightly bigger than Productronica, mm -hmm. if you take the whole event in total, which was massive killed repeat mm. um, but what it did is it gave visitors the opportunity to see a little bit more again maximizing their time mm. so people have very limited time they you know they want to go along see as much as they can mm. uh, we got 3,000 uh, over 3,600 visitors through the door okay which for the UK is excellent it's fantastic it? it's almost double what we got last time there are people that went to the other shows so obviously mm -hmm. they came and had a look at ours and then went to other places but you know if that's if they see more than mm. one thing then that's fantastic I'm yeah. really happy and again we had good seminars we had live features we had a mix of components of production design embedded so it was a real industry mm. event um, yeah. and we're really pleased and we're, we're not running the show again next year at the NEC we're going back in 2014 right. and we're co-locating again with the same guys so that we've okay. got this manufacturing focus so and will next that become year, biannual or will it be elsewhere next year? It's, uh, it's going to be biannual. The large event's going to be biannual, but next year we're going regional. Okay. Yeah, so we're, again, we're concentrating very much on the conference and the, and the uh, seminar element. Um, we're going across the country running three small shows. Um, we're, we're actually aligning some of the parts of the other events, so with the, okay. the subcontracting element and maybe the design element of some of the mm. other events alongside to, to work with those guys again. Um, we've got an event in Manchester in March. We are going to Scotland in May, and in September we're down in the southwest around the Bristol area. Okay, so that we're on the fantastic. road. <laughs> Absolutely, and the other element that you mentioned there, which I think is really interesting in the way you're um, bringing the industry together, is that connection up and down the supply chain, having design alongside um, the guys from manufacturing, the subcontractors, components, all those guys, because they can learn so much from each other. That's it, they can work with each other. The exhibitors benefit from the mm. other exhibitors as well as the visitors. Yeah. Um, and each region that we're going to go to, we're going to focus on you know, what's, what's relevant to the region. So if you look at um, Southwest, we'll probably focus on defense. Um, Manchester, probably automotive, mm. and Scotland, probably renewable energy. Okay. They're the kind of elements that we're looking at at yeah, the minute. Yeah, it's so. good to have those focuses. And you know, I always look at these events as having a networking element, an exhibitor to exhibitor network element. I'm sure that people come away with new potential collaborations, ideas of how they can improve their assembly product based on what they've learned about design as you well. You see relationships blossom at mm. shows, it's quite romantic really. Yeah, it's sweet, isn't <laughs> You've it? got exhibitors that work together and they get on, they sit next mm. to each other on a stand and then yeah. the next time they have the stand together they open the stand up, they sell each other's products and they help each other. That's fantastic. So, um, and on these small shows, you know, we had some really, really positive feedback on them. Um, they're very short, they're a day and a half, so you come in in the morning, you set up, the show starts in the afternoon, an overnight thing, so again the networking opportunity, and then a full day the next day, so it's, it's not time consuming, you know, you get to see your visitors, and it's also 
it, 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 it's taking your product to them as opposed to the other way around. Yeah. Fantastic. So. And next stop, Tunisia. Yes. <laughs> so it's a whirlwind, I know, but so, yeah, we're in Tunisia in June. How's that one looking? It's okay. Again, it's a it's an interesting mm. region. It's very much like South Africa. It's emerging. Um, we've got the UKTI focus again. That they're very keen to support yeah. UK companies going over. And we're working with um, the Tunisian government, uh, the trade associations out there, and we're co-locating our event within a show called Med Industry, okay. which basically. It, it sort of celebrates the, 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 the total industry in, in Tunisia, so it's a little bit diverse, but the, the electronic side is quite strong there this time. We've got lots of international companies coming along, and for UK companies, it's a deal, mm. it really is. You yeah. get a nine meter square stand, and I'm sorry to do a sales pitch, no, 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 no. <laughs> a nine meter square stand with shell scheme for 78 pounds. That's fantastic. It's crazy. It? That you have crazy. to go. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's quite nice weather in June as well. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's, a, it's an important region. I know last year it got caught up in the, uh, a little the revolution, Arab Spring a yeah. little bit, and that kind of <laughs> set things off. But it's good you're persevering with it. And I think, you know, part of your role as a as a UK ex exhibition company is to take the UK companies elsewhere and, and kind of push those parameters and explore some of the markets that maybe the traditional event organisations don't explore. But we go to places others don't, mm. you know, we look at industries where we see an opportunity. The UKTI we work with very closely now and, and we've got their support which is great because they can see that we, we look at emerging areas, mm. we look at places as I say that other people may not think is a, have a, a, an opportunity. So no, Tunisia will be good. It's um, it's it is an interesting market. Yeah. There's a hell of a lot going on out there. Yeah. So it's definitely worth it. You know, a, a punt to go and have a look. Yeah, and the UKTI, um, the um, trade trade thing mission thing there is is a key element. Having that funding for the first time that companies go to those markets, so they can afford to basically take a punt on a new region and go and learn about that's it. That's right, you can look, you can find new stuff out, it's it's a low cost, it, it helps support and that's obviously what their role is, is to go in and find new markets out there. Yeah. We're supported obviously with the with the local authority, um, the, the UK um, office, the FCO out there as well, so it's it's a really it's a really good thing to do um, and th they're trying very much to support more than the first time, so they're trying to promote and make sure yeah. that people go back and actually yeah. develop relationships in other industries. Okay. And you know, my thought when you get to the end of this event in June is that you should be taking a break. I'm having but a I holiday, uh, but, I, but only but a little one. But I suspect you're already <laughs> thinking about the next thing. There's there's other stuff happening. Yeah, we've yeah. we've been speaking to people here and previously at other events who would like us to look at other regions. Okay. Um, and the the opportunities we find are very different. You know, in Tunisia we're running an event within an exhibition. Mm. So uh, there's maybe exhibitions coming up and also maybe events and networking. There's other regions that definitely yeah. people want us to move into. That's so, you know, stuff. there'll be some more traveling going on and, and I'm sure next time we meet some new announcements. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> well, Claire, thanks for joining me. Great thank to you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show this Brilliant. week and we'll speak soon. Cheers, thank, thank you. you.